keep burning the chocolate. Mm, this is embarrassing. This is embarrassing. Yeah. Oh my god, I keep burning. I keep burning the chocolate. But this is just getting bigger and bigger. It is what it is. I gotta put me first. I'm gonna keep doing it. Mm, so annoying. Let's do it again. Yep. Yep. It's giving cooking outfit. It's giving, look at my hang time. It's giving braids. It's giving, hit my girl Catalina up for your nails. Yeah. What's up YouTube? It's your girl Maya back again with another video. Um, today, as you guys can see by the title, I am making a three course meal. I'm making a appetizer, entree, and dessert. So, I'm not gonna ramble here. We're not gonna talk about the fact that I've been like ghost from this channel for however many months. I'm a struggling college student who is fighting for her life out here in these streets. So, we're just gonna keep moving on with regular programming. Um, like, comment, subscribe, share this video with all your friends, and let's just get cooking. Also, quick little disclaimer. Um, if you guys wanna use these recipes, you feel free to um, alter them the way that you want to alter them. If it's too much salt for you, if it's not enough salt for you, if it's too much sugar for you, not enough sugar for you. If it just looks not the way you want it to look, it's not your food, babe. Okay? So feel free to alter them. I'm just I'm just here to inspire you. Okay, so the first item we're meal prepping is the strawberries. And okay, some of y'all say strawberries, stra strawberries. I say strawberries. It's that's just the way I talk. So, anyways, um, we're just gonna take um the strawberries out of this container that they came into and put them in this blue container. But I'm gonna rinse them off and then I'm gonna add some salt in the water so that whatever like bacteria is in the strawberries can just come out. So that's what y'all about to see me do. All right guys, so now that the strawberries are done and they're sitting to the side, we're gonna meal prep our entree, which is the surf and turf with string beans. My mom's allergic to shrimp, so I use two bags, but if you're not allergic to shrimp, you can literally put your steak, your shrimp, and green beans all in one bag after you wash them and you know pat them dry with a paper towel. But um, you can put it all in here and season it, and then that's your, that's your meal prep, you're done. I rinse my meat off and the shrimp, because if you don't, that's nasty. And we're about to do that. I got this uh, New York strip steak thin from Acme and then these colossal shrimp from Walmart. Okay, so quick example. Now that I rinse my green beans and steak off, I'm gonna take the green beans, put them in this bag, and then you see? Yeah, you see. You definitely don't have to wash the steaks with soap or nothing. You can just put them in the bag, like after you rinse them with water, but it's just, it's just, you know, to get whatever bacteria is on them, off of them, so. See, just put them in like this and don't close it up yet because we're gonna chop up the onion and put it in here and then season. But I just want to give y'all a little quick little glimpse of what we're about to do. So if you're cooking for somebody who's also allergic to like seafood or just doesn't like seafood and you're making like a surf and turf kind of thing just remember to wash your hands after you touch like like if you touch the seafood and then you want to go back to like cooking like for everything make sure you wash your hands really good and also try to always do like for instance me I'm always doing the steak first because the pan is gonna have like you know the shrimp juices on there and you don't want to put the steak on the shrimp juices you know what I mean all right, y'all, just peel the onion. We're about to get to curtain. All right, I was 
taking too long, the onions got to my eyes. But, um, so now that the onions are in both bags, I'm gonna grab some seasonings, and we're just gonna season both bags of food. So you see, so far we have the steak, the beans, and onions in this one, and then we just have shrimp and onions. So I'm gonna open up the seasonings and grab some stuff. Okay, so we're gonna start with the steak bag, and we're just gonna season this first. So, first thing is minced garlic. And we're gonna put like a lot. We like garlic in this house. I'm gonna throw on some black pepper. I'm gonna put, this is graduated California garlic. And we're gonna put some of that. Just eyeball the seasonings, honestly, because I'm about to sneeze. All right, just eyeball the seasonings. This is lemon pepper, lemon pepper. But um, just eyeball the seasonings because you have to realize you are seasoning the steak, you're seasoning the onions, and you're also seasoning the green beans. So you don't wanna put too much to where it's like overpowering and doesn't spread out, but then you also don't wanna put, you know, not enough and then it don't taste right. So now we're gonna add some Mrs. Dash. So we just toss it a little bit in there. Um, we're gonna add some Italian seasoning. Smell things in your in your pantry. If it smell like it need to be on the food, then it needs to be on the food, period. Then we have some Goya adobo. Um, and this goes on everything, I swear. Some Sazon. This stuff, too good. Too, too good. I'm gonna add two packs to this particular, like I said, I'm eyeballing it, depending on the inside. And you just toss that in there. So as y'all can see, I just was literally tossing the seasoning in this bag right here. Okay, so now we're gonna add some Worcestershire sauce. And this, I, okay, I don't even know if I'm saying this right, but this is how we say it in this house. It's Worcestershire sauce. It's a tongue twister. But um, we're gonna add this, and it kind of smells like A1 and teriyaki sauce, like mix. Make a hole for the bag. So you see how there's like air pockets and shape. Okay, so the steak is fully seasoned. So now what we're gonna do is make a little breathing hole for it to air out a little bit. And just take all the air out of it, seal it up. And we're gonna put this one in the refrigerator. So now we're gonna tackle our shrimp combination. The shrimp is just one more thing that we're gonna add. This is parsley flakes. And it adds a little color, you know, a little texture. Now we're gonna um, squeeze some of the fresh lemon inside of the shrimp. We're about to just toss this whole lemon in there. Now shake it up again. So we wanna collect all the flavors. So now that that's all in there, we're gonna put this in the refrigerator to set. Okay, so normally I would have done that earlier in the day and then went and ran my errands or did whatever I had to do in the day. Like that would have been my morning, like what I would have done in the morning. All right, Amaya, we get it. You would have did that in the morning and then you would have went on with your day. That's what I was trying to say. That's what I was trying to say. I'm gonna clean up real fast and then we're gonna start making our appetizer, okay? Okay, so for our chip dip, we're gonna use um, some red onion. I'm gonna use this cucumber, um, two limes, half of a lemon. I'm gonna use tomatoes. Uh, this is parsley. I'm gonna use some corn and whatever else I throw in here. So we're gonna get to chopping. So we're just gonna give it a little toss real quick. 
Yes, you see that y'all see the colors coming together. Squeeze our fresh lime inside. I like to. So you can see some of the juices are starting to already come in to play. Okay, guys, so this is the secret ingredient. It is Olive Garden Signature Italian Dressing. Now, you could go crazy with this, but I'm just gonna go light. Just drizzle a bit of this. Okay, that was not a bit. Big bite. Mm-hmm. All right, y'all, so I just washed dishes. I pulled out the Hefty Ninja Air Fryer and it has like this little thing in here. I hate cleaning the air fryer. It has been sitting since we made our appetizer. So now we're moving on to entree and we're just gonna take the steak out of here and put it here. Let's grab one, here we go. Just gonna lay that one down. And we're gonna grab the other one. Two. Okay, so this is what our steaks look like inside. I really just tuck them in there just to make sure that we can just get them all in there and they cook at the same time. So I'm gonna just close it up. And then I'm gonna set the time to 20 minutes and I'm gonna flip at 10. Let's check our, oh yes, yes. I hope y'all smell it through the camera. Boom. So now it's like this. We're gonna just close this back up. And that was literally what? Seven, eight minutes? So we're gonna, I'm not a mathematician. So y'all know, put it back. All right, y'all. So I just came over here on the other side of the kitchen, started the stove. We have some butter melting and uh, some olive oil. All right, y'all. So boom, we got our string beans in here. So we're just gonna take this whole bag and empty it right into here, just like that. Okay, so we're gonna transfer these string beans now from this pot to this plastic thing. Okay, so after the string beans are here, we're gonna leave them here to cool. But you see how we have this juice now? So let's look at our steaks. Great. There's a nice, you see that crisp? It's literally like a char. Oh, yes, char. Come on, steaks. So we're going to take our steak. Let me grab it a little bit better than how I have it. And we're going to transfer it into this pot. And we're just going to let it soak in here and get the juices on it. So. So we're just gonna take the shrimp out of here. See, and put it in here. By the way, this is all just from the steak that we just made. Cause you know, we got a nice char on there. We want the same char on the shrimp. We're gonna put it to 20 minutes, air crisp, and we're gonna hit start. Okay, so while the shrimp is cooking, we're gonna make the sauce. We're just gonna drop two little halves of butter in there. And then whatever's left in this bag, we're just gonna dump right into this pan. So we're just gonna, it's a little bit hard to do with one hand, but. And we're gonna take this lemon out because that's just so random, but just to get some sauces going. Okay, also one thing about me, I'm gonna work smarter and not harder. So I'm not about to be sitting here making my dishes. This is the rice we're about to eat. Mm-hmm. Uncle Ben's, and you just push, like, squeeze it together. Yup, yup, just like this. And then you peel this side open, and you put it in the microwave for 90 seconds. I'm not about to be sitting here boiling water, trying to boil rice and then absorb it. Like, no, that was mad work when I could just buy it like this. We got our rice right here. And we're just gonna pour the rice. Boom, just like that. All right, let's pop the lid. Let's see what we're working with. 
All right now, all right now. Not looking too bad, not looking too bad. Um, let's flip. We do still have the shells on this because I think it absorbs more flavor and it makes it more fun to eat. So, just mind your business. Yes, the shrimp is giving. It's definitely giving what it's supposed to give. We're just gonna toss it around here a little bit. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay, so I just came over here to check the shrimp saute thing we have going on here and it is looking good looking good so boom just like this and then just put them in there and you're just gonna toss them all in here now this is a really small pot for what i'm doing so just don't be me but you know be better than me be better Okay, so we're gonna take the juice now that we've cut the steak up and we're just gonna pour the juice all on top. But not all of it, save some of it for the string beans. I mean, it wasn't that much, but you know, a little bit is better than nothing. And I just put a little bit of water at the bottom of the pan. Cause that's still seasoning. Boom, those two are done and now the shrimp is done. So we're just gonna take the shrimp right from the pot and transfer it to this this watch all done so we have the shrimp the rice the steak the green beans that's your entree okay so I just drained the strawberries and put new water in here I'm actually gonna cool them down with some ice because I want my strawberries to be a little bit chilly chillier so we have this ice bath kind of thing going on. So we have these, and then this is the chocolate we're gonna be using. We're gonna be using Lily's white chocolate style baking chips. So we're gonna put these on the stove in that pot, and we're just gonna melt them down, all nice and melty. Oh, so we're gonna put a little bit of butter in here, melt these down, and then we're gonna dip the strawberries in them and put them in a cute little bath. And then we're gonna put them in the fridge to cool. Okay, so I laid all the strawberries out just like this, and I'm just patting them dry like this. Okay, guys, so I have the cupcake holders right here, and then I have this pot, because I'm gonna melt the chocolate down, and then I have the strawberries right here. I keep burning the chocolate. Mm, this is embarrassing, this is embarrassing, yeah. Oh my God, I keep, burning, I keep burning the chocolate. But this is just getting bigger and bigger. It is what it is, I gotta put me first. I'm gonna keep doing it. Mm. So annoying. So we got this chocolate right here in a bowl. I'm gonna put it in the microwave for 30 seconds. And then when it comes out, we're gonna stir and try to dip and we'll see how it's going. All right, y'all, so just what I'm doing, just dipping it. Like that. Let it drain a little bit. And then I'm gonna just put it on Okay, like, are you done? And I'm gonna put it on this, like that. But dip the strawberries and then place it right here. Once again, one more time, dip the strawberries, let it drain a little bit, and just place it right here. All right, guys, we are finally done. Now, we like white chocolate better in this house, but I did make a few dark chocolate ones just in case, you know, just for the aesthetic. It's giving. It's giving chocolate covered strawberries made by a professional. Come on, y'all see me. Y'all see that gloss finish? Come on.